Hey guys, how the hell are you? Time for an all new unbiased gear review. And today, we finally get to take a look at this. The Oh My Goat high gain preamp pedal from Clearton. So first let's go over some specs of this unit. We do have a unit here that is powered by a 9 volt power supply, input output jacks here on the top. We have treble, mid range and bass up along the top here. We have gain, we have an onboard boost control and we have the level here for the overall volume. Heavy duty switch heavy duty powder coated enclosure. This is a unit that's kind of built like a tank, has a lot going on for it in such a fairly easy to use package. So first a little bit of backstory. Clearton made the Grindstein, which as we know by now is a really killer Swedish buzzsaw tone. It's got the Swedish buzzsaw sound in there, but it's also got an absolutely killer amp preamp in there. That preamp can be bypass so that you can still utilize the preamp of whatever amp you're using but a lot of people loved it so much especially a lot of guys in the swedish metal scene they loved it so much they said hey can you please make a pedal version of just that preamp and what clearton did is they separated them saw that there was a few things that they needed to tweak a little bit to make it a usable preamp just by itself and this is what they came up with, the Oh My Goat. So without any further bullshit, let's just get right on into the tone demo so you guys can actually hear what this thing does. For the purposes of this tone demo, I will be utilizing my very trustworthy Framus television model, which is loaded with Alnico 2 Pro humbuckers from Seymour Duncan for those warm lows and those crisp clean highs. Okay, so the first things first, this is the clean tone. We are running into the effects return of the Dover DA50. The presence knob is turned up around 9 o'clock because when running a preamp pedal into the effects return of an amp, you really ought to be having that presence knob pretty well dimed up. Doesn't need to be completely dimed, but you need to be cranking it at least. The depth knob is standing straight up at noon, and this is the clean sound with the pedal disengaged. Thank you. 
So as you can hear, this fucking thing does not do cleans at all, and I am in love with that. articulate like when I get into a little bit faster runs and stuff that's generally a little bit more notey you can kind of pick everything out nice and clear a lot of attack on that I really like that Thank you. 
Definitely need to be careful with the tone knobs on here because everything has just a little bit too much. So you definitely don't want to be pushing these too far up. Moving this up here gets you a serious kind of Metal Zone Bs thing going on. But even there, I kind of like that a lot. Mid-range gets a little honky when you crank that. And the bass can get really boomy. But damn, does this thing have some really, really, really nice tone on tap, if you ask me. So overall, my final thought, this is kind of exactly what I want in a high gain preamp pedal. So it really kind of does one thing and one thing only, and that is a searing amount of gain, brutal metal tones, and honestly, it's rather tweakable. It's surprisingly tweakable, as a matter of fact. For starters, you know, thankfully, you can turn down the boost, you can turn down the gain, but keeping it at a similar level as the signal that's going into the amp itself, it doesn't really clean up. So this is a high gain pedal and it's meant to stay a high gain pedal, which is music to my ears because fuck cleans. It's great. Run this into the power amp of your favorite amp, preferably one that has an actual presence and depth section, but dude, this thing is kind of fucking killer. Now, here's the thing that you need to understand though, looking at the brand's website and also after having played through this, every single knob on here is capable of giving you too much of everything that it's designed to do. And that's on purpose, it, because it's better to have too much than not enough. So no problem. Don't crank up the bass, otherwise it gets boomy. Dial it back a little bit. Don't crank up the treble, otherwise you get into Metal Zone B's territory. Dial it back a little bit. Don't crank up the mid-range because it gets really honky, so dial that back considerably. That gets to about like the 11 o'clock point where it's in kind of a nice sweet spot, in my opinion. The gain, same thing with that. If you dial it up too high, you get that sort of like... PV triple X thing going on where there's just way too much fucking gain on tap. Same goes with the boost. So what I like to do is for the gain boost treble, keeping that at 666 and otherwise the tone section that you're seeing there, kind of three o'clock ish for the bass, kind of 11 o'clock ish for the mid and kind of about 132 o'clock ish for the treble gets my favorite sweet spot on here that does the thrash metal, it does the uh, death metal. It, it sounds pretty fucking ridiculous in that area, but it's capable of doing so much more as you saw on the tone demo, so play with it. Figure out what you like the best. But overall, this was kind of one of the best high gain preamp pedals I've ever had on this channel. And kudos to Karsten from uh, Clearton for really taking care of me. The first one they sent out did have a minor sort of defect on it in that the gain knob didn't really function, to be honest with you. It's kind of stuck in one position, 
but it's kind of a nice little sweet spot position. So I'm thinking I might want to keep that one anyway because it's just kind of in the right, right spot. But this one, like, it does function absolutely perfectly fine. They were really quick to take care of me when I had an issue. So what does that say about their customer service as well? So with that, I wholeheartedly say that this is an absolutely fantastic pedal. I think Clearton's a fantastic company to deal with. And I would say buy with confidence. This was a kick-ass little unit. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. There is tons more metal guitar oriented content to come. And please remember to take what you do seriously, but do not take yourself too seriously.